Yo, 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 yo. You're in the mix. The world's finest, man. DJ. Down. I have the radio on the telly. All right, how, how do you know if you're married to That is our fireside chat for the day. It's coming up right now. Be careful. Okay, guys. So the burning question this week is, how do you know if you are marriage material? I'm going to start with sophisticated. Sophisticated. How do you know if you are marriage material? Oh, can um can I take a, a pass? No, 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 no passes okay. this week. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, let's let's hear about this, and, and then I'm I'm gonna we're gonna do an assessment and see if you actually are marriage material. Oh, um, okay. I, so I guess I think you may be marriage material for a person that you can be what you're asking of them to be. So no, you, you may not be married material wait, wait. for everybody. You talking you may... in general. Yes. I'm talking about you. Oh, me. No, you you personally. Now, now, we ain't doing no generalized statements today like we're trying to be politically correct. No, I'm asking you personally. How do you know if you are marriage material? Well, first of all, do you know my just answer the question? <laughs> I, I answer my other question later. Well, I Go think ahead. I am marriage material. I know how do you know if you are married? And then material? how do I know? Well, first I need to think it for me to know it. So I must first embrace the belief that I am. Um I mean, how do I know? How do you know? Because I was raised right. <laughs> <laughs> I was raised I was raised to be to be a wife with traditional beliefs. So I believe that I am married I know that I'm marriage material for a traditional mindseted man um based on how I was raised. Which okay. which others may not agree with. They may not say that I'm marriage material because they may want a more modern situation, you know, with me proposing to them and getting down on one knee and all of that. Like, listen, I mean, you'll never think that I'm marriage material. But how do I know? I know based on how I was raised. I believe I was raised right. You told us a bunch of nothing right now. A whole that, heap. That's all I got. A, heap. a, a whole wow. heap of nothing. You said absolutely nothing. That's you all I got. Act, you didn't actually answer the question, but we're going to come back to you. All right, Mika, <laughs> you up. Mika, how do you know if you are marriage material? Um, I, I don't know. Um, if I'm marriage material, I guess. I mean, if you have the qualities of the person that's asking, I guess you're married. That's like a tricky question. I really don't know. See, it ain't easy. Right. It's, it's, it's not, not, not like the material, like the material, like it's, it ain't cotton and silk. I don't, I really don't know. Okay. Nick, that's your answer. You that's, really don't know. If I don't are. know if I'm marriage material. I'm not actually. I'm not married, so I I don't know. I would have to ask. <laughs> Does that signify to, that you're not marriage material if you're not married? No, we just. I guess we have to ask some people I've dated. But like, was she marriage material? I don't know. Um, what my personal criteria would be for myself to be marriage material? I, I feel like I could be proposed to. I feel like I can be with somebody for the rest of my life, but I don't know. If that makes me marriage material, I don't know what that is. Okay. All right. Let, 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 we'll come back to you two. Don't come back to me with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Ruth. You want to ask Kat first and then come back to me? Let me ask Kat first and come back to you because I can see the look on your face right now. Kat, how do you know if you are marriage material? What's it say, Brian? Uh-uh, don't do that. Okay, go. <laughs> okay, so that's a, a loaded question. Well, unload for me. I'm about to. That's a loaded question. That's why everybody's having trouble answering it because you yourself can think your marriage material, but it depends on someone needing to be willing to be able to be married to you. You can say that, yes, I'm available emotionally for a relationship. I'm available and ready to be committed to that person. However, each marriage is different. Like a marriage isn't that like a, a 
cookie cutter thing. Each marriage is different. So each relationship is different. So it just depends like on you and that person actually really having that type of level of connection and understanding and trust to really be in a relationship together. So you can't really say just yourself is marriage material unless there's a specific criteria that we're talking about meeting. That's so that's what I meant. Question. That's what I meant right there. Nate, You're welcome. Uh, do, do us a little, little bit more justice, Nate. Nate, how do you know if you marriage material? <laughs> For me, I believe that that fact that I've never wanted a bunch of women. I just always wanted everything I wanted in one person. I think that in itself qualifies me pretty well. And I also believe in win-win situations because to me, relationships are supposed to be a two-way street. So, you know, if you're going to want somebody in your life, you give them what they're looking for and then they give you what you're looking for. And once y'all find that happy medium, then you got a reason to be together in terms of what you're going to move forward doing as a couple that you felt like you couldn't do as individuals. So because I think that way, I believe that I am. Okay, Nate. Root, you're up. <laughs> Root, how, how do you know? The hesitation. <laughs> if you are marriage material, Root. So first of all, I'm going to be me. And there is no such thing as marriage material because everybody's perspective of what a good person, like, like a compatible person to them is different. Some person, some people may say, some people have one Hey, what happened to your audio? Hold on, you can't hear me? You sound, you sound like you went down the street somewhere. Okay, how about now? Okay, there you go. Okay. So some person may say that, or some person, a person may say, if they're giving me sex all the time, that's a person that is marriage material. Someone else may feel like if the person is financially stable, if the person cooks, if they know how to clean, if they can wash my clothes, if they can be a great parent, they may think that that's marriage material. I think that the definition of marriage material is, it is, is, it, is, it really is. It's abstract. The problem is, is that we got people walking around here thinking or saying that someone is not marriage material and they don't even know what marriage material is. And most of the time, those people are men that are saying that these women are not marryable. I know that's not a word, but that's my word. <laughs> did you just make that shit up? I did, Indeed. and it's and, and it's accurate. Okay. They're not they're not marryable, but these <laughs> men have been raised by women and grandmamas, mamas, grandmamas, aunties, sisters that have never been wives. So how the fuck you gonna tell me that I'm not wife material and you ain't never seen an example of a fucking wife? Don't come for me. Okay, that sounds that sounds personal. Uh, so, so no, yo, I'm just saying. Not, I mean, I'm a wife. Not, I'm a wife. And yeah, I've you, been a wife twice. Real. And my picker was wrong the first time. It's right now. Uh -huh. But first time, it was wrong. But you're not going to tell me that I'm not wife material. Now, is that somebody else telling you? Or is that the conglomerate of society saying, well, if you don't do this, this, or have that, this, that you're not marriage material? I, I really think it's both. Yes, yeah, it's both. Because it could be someone, it can be someone that you're in a relationship telling you that. But it could also be people telling you that because you don't check off what society deems as being a uh, wife material that you're not. I've met women before that have said, um, example, I met this woman. She's a friend. She is a friend of a friend. And my friend was getting married. And this woman said she had been dating this guy for a while. He was really great with her. They had never spent the night at one another's homes. He would still come pick her up, up for dates. They would go everywhere. He had proposed to her. 
And I remember, I, I will never, ever, ever forget this. She said, I don't understand why he, I, I just can't fathom why he wanted to propose to me because I've never done anything differently. And I said, you were a great woman. That's what you're supposed to be. He saw the greatness in you as a woman. You weren't required to cook his meals, wash his clothes, clean the doo-doo out of his drawers, you know, freehand or any. Freehand doo-doo clean? Okay. Freehand doo-doo clean. Right. Because, you know, I done seen some stuff. I done, I done read some stories about how women have said that men feel like she didn't get my whites white enough. Mm. You know, okay. um, I've seen where men have said all of these things. You know, I don't know if I can have kids with her because she don't keep a clean house or she's not doing. Why do I have? Why is it that I have to? I have to I have to do all this extra shit that your mama don't even know how to do. <laughs> you okay. want me to do the shit your mama don't even know how to do. And you're telling me that I'm not wife material. Get out of here. Bye. Okay. All right, so so here's the question, and I'm gonna come. I'm gonna circle back around to a few other things in just a moment. So, do you guys think or believe that if someone, let's say for instance, somebody's mother, that's all they've seen. That's the examples they've seen is the, the men and women in their families who've never been married, like never been married. Do you think they they have a a gauge on what a wife would need, the characteristics or traits a wife would need to have um, in order for them to be able to determine if someone is wife material for them or not. Uh, let's start with Kat. I think their gauge is going to be based off different things at that point. It's going to be more nurture over nature, I guess, in this situation, because now they don't have an example of that in the home. So they're probably going to base it off of TV. And we all know TV is bullshit, especially for us that grew up in the 80s and before. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> before, it was a shame. <laughs> Can't have to be doing the rest of this my car. I did. I was just like, you know, and before, because I thought Let's about it. it. Inclusive. I was trying to be inclusive. Anyway, <laughs> my point is those of us that grew up during that time where we learned a lot of dynamic from TV. You know what I mean? And and we all know that's like some bullshit. So you you do see guys constantly on the internet and social media everywhere talking about wife material and this, that, the other. And, and they're basically talking about they need that old school wife, but they're not having, they don't have old school morals themselves. So. Well, they have old school morals and they but don't, but their morals are based off of men that weren't shit from the beginning. Anyway. And they don't. So they, they have those old school morals. But we're talking about men who have been raised by men that ain't been shit. These are the same men that they they had siblings that live down the street. I mean, but that's regular in the past, of course. It is. So that's what I'm saying. But they're just saying this relationship, like a, a marriage, like it's just everybody's so happy and everybody's so in love and right. this, that, the other. She stayed home and cooked, clean, and raised the kids when at the end of the day, Uncle Leroy was down the street. He had a whole second family yeah. with her cousin. You know what I mean? Like, just all these side baby, side children, side marriage, side families. So, you know, they they think it's based on one thing, but the picture that they're painting is basically bullshit. So, yeah, I mean, I think that they'd be basing out some bullshit that they've been sold. A dream. Now, now uh, Catocity. Was uh, Uncle Leroy your <laughs> uncle? <laughs> oh, I got a great uncle, honey. I could tell you a whole story. The short of it is I sat with my great auntie and we were talking and she told me <laughs> basically they had a, a marriage 
he decided he was going to run off with this little young thing, ran off with the young thing, turned around. He got sick. Young thing wouldn't take care of him, but she was taking his check. He came back to who? My, great, to my great auntie. And she took care of him until he died. And she told me that right there. She said, we ain't talking about that. <laughs> Cause my bless her heart, she gone. Anyway, the point is, he went back to who he knew was gonna take care of him. His wife, number one, uh, two. Like that's those kind of relationships. That's what they were. The woman never went anywhere. It was her house anyway. He ain't had nothing else but his little check he was getting. And this, you know, young chick wasn't even. So yeah, that is my <laughs> that is my uncle. He had his side family. Side family basically was like fuck him. So he had to come back to who was really the person that actually cared about him and loved him. But she told me like after that, she was like, I never wanted a man again. She was like, baby, I ain't gay now, but I ain't want no man. I was like, okay, auntie, I ain't think he was gay, but okay, okay, whatever. But the point is, the point is she didn't want no man after that. Like he ruined it for her. And she basically was trying to tell me these old school marriages that everybody be talking about, they're not really what they... Like he, nobody talks about the bad parts right. like that. Absolutely. Nobody talks. They romanticize this old school love, but they don't talk about the real. And it's more than just him. It's like I know several cases of this, even right now. And I think the real is is that men, you know, and this is um, your mic going out again. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what's going on with y'all audio. But y'all, I think it's because I've had to move my mic back, so I have to move it up for Cat and I. How about that? Is that better? All right, Cat, say something. Something. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'm following directions. You're, you're good. You're very good at that, Cat. Thank you. Thank you. I follow directions, so we'll talk about that later, Root. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> so, um, I, I think that that's a good point. That men romanticize what they think those relationships were. Uh -huh. The reality is, is that those relationships that we were brought up in, they were never good. Those women, they were in positions where they didn't have a choice. You know, they were they were molded to be women, to be wives and mothers. They were molded to take care of their families. I can remember my grandmother telling me um, years ago, this is when I got married the first time. And I asked her, like, why did you stay with my grandfather? Because they had been separated. They had like, my grandmother had moved to California. My grandfather was still in Chicago. Like, why are y'all even still legally married? Mm. And then my parents did it, right? My mom was on her own. My dad was on his own. They were both living two separate lives. And so that was the example of relationships that I saw that, yeah, y'all break up, but y'all can separate. I asked my grandmother, why did you never divorce? And she said, I'll be damned if I'm going to have another woman benefit from what I worked hard for. I didn't have five kids by him. And she, she was very transparent. I had five children. There is no way that I'm going to let somebody else benefit from what I'm entitled to. And that meant his savings, his checking, his insurance, anything he had inherited, all of that belonged to her. And she was like, I'm not going anywhere because one day he's going to die before me. And she said that. My gra Unfortunately, my grandfather did die before her, but my grandmother has dementia now. But the reality is that she thought about this years ago. Same okay. thing with my mother. My mother did the same thing. They felt like these relationships are going to last. And Sim, but Sim, I don't know if y'all follow Sinbad. He did a comedy special several years ago. And in his special, he talked about men need to marry women who understand the size of stroke. You go out here and get these young chicks and you're going to be talking crazy and they ain't going to know what the hell you're saying. And you'll be talking about, oh, and the woman is going to be like, you know, I don't know what to do. And, you know, baby, can I get your house when you die? That was the joke that he gave. And he was like, but the woman who know you going to be like, hold on, baby, let me go get your medication. 
we have to, these men have to start thinking about women who have, a, the reality is, is what you have is your, your morals, your values, your character. That's what matters most of all. There's no checklist. Does she meet, does she make you happy? Is she attentive to you? Does she care about your well-being? That's what matters. Y'all say that. I'm going to read y'all later on. Uh, I'm, let me go to some fist of twerk now. So do you think someone could know who is Maris Petir or even themselves if they've never had an example in their home growing up? Like they didn't see their mother married. They didn't see their father married. Do you think that's possible? Um, I do think it's possible depending on um, maturity and just like not even maturity, but uh, brain functioning and their ability to understand and reason. Right. Because uh -huh. many of people um, saw uh, examples of what it was like to be a bad father and they didn't see an example of a good father. And they're like, well, I know I don't want to be like that. And then they become a good father. Right. So, sure, you can become a, a good spouse, even though you didn't grow up in a two parent home um, seeing that you also have other influences. You know, my mother was a single mother. She was married a few times uh, in my life. I don't re uh, remember the marriages because I was so young. Uh, right. But she, she was married that many times when you was young. Right. No. Well, I once when I like once I was less than five and the other one. I think I blocked it out. Uh, you know what I'm did, saying? Like less than seven. Did he so touch she's you? Had, she had two marriages when I was young, less than seven. So wait, wait, you, wait, wait. You said your family. mother had two marriages when you was less than seven? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So okay. I don't, I don't re quite remember one of them, but she tells me the story um, of them. And then it's like something, you know how like you have kind of like, you don't know if you're really remembering it or are you seeing the image you heard because they said it. And then you're like having a vivid, you know, imagination about it. So I'm not quite sure about that second one. But the first one, I definitely do have memories from. Point is. How long did they last? That, Either one of them. How long did they last? I'm, I don't recall. I don't know. I'd have to ask her. You don't. Know. Okay. All right. Cool. But, um, but however, she instilled different values in me about. This is what it what you need to do and possess him. This how you should be to be a wife to a husband. I do believe that I was told right based on the circumstances of those marriages. I understand why they didn't work. And even like now, she's really great friends with one of the exes. Like, and he actually still refers to me as his daughter. Like, I have a picture in the other room with him. We don't um, want to see it. We don't. Yeah, I'm not it. gonna give it to y'all. <laughs> y'all, y'all not gonna get to see all that. But um, like, we still have a good relationship with that man. So yes, the the short answer is yes. You don't have to see something in order to um, be able to to become become something. Okay. Heck, I mean, if that's hey, listen, I'm a first generation college student and with with a second degree. I didn't see anybody do that. I did it. Okay. All right, Mika. Yeah. So, Sophista Twerk, all of them had a great, you know, Sophista Twerk kind of said exactly what I wanted to say. I don't believe, I think having good examples helps, but I don't think you need them to have a good marriage because um, when you want to marry someone at the, at the end of the day, it's just meeting someone you want to spend the rest of your life with. And you don't need examples to know you want to spend the rest of your life with someone. And half the time, the examples that we have, which are our parents or grandparents, they hide the things that are causing divorce today anyway. Like we don't see the infidelity. We don't see the finance issues. So all we see is our parents in the same house, whether it be good or bad. Some parents stay together until you go to college and they couldn't wait till the last child got out of the house so they could split up. So it's just, you don't need a good example. It's good to have them. But I just think that as long as you find someone you want to spend the rest of your life with, that's all that matters. That, that's what marriage, the overall is, the good and the bad for the rest of your life till death do you part. Okay. All right. Now, somebody has a audio issue. Uh, I can hear everybody else talking. So I don't know if somebody has the computer up too loud, the speakers up too loud, but I can hear the echo. In, in that, would, that would be the people in my house. That's our background. My oh. son and one of my other close friends why are we making these faces. Right. They, they sitting right in front of y'all? No, they're oh. on the other side of the kitchen. Yeah. Oh, they Shut probably the need to fuck go, up. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay. Nate, <laughs> let's come to you right quick. No. <laughs> they ask us, should we get in the camera? To Finch, I got a question for you. What's the question? Can you, or actually not a question, a statement. Lisa Marie made a comment. Okay. And said, do you know the purpose of marriage? Okay. That's a, that's a good question. Let, let's let's get Nate's take on the last question, okay. but then we'll, we'll come back to that one. Okay. Nate, what, what do you think about examples? It, do, does a person need an example? Like, do, do a man need to see his mother or father being married before he understands and knows if a woman he dates or he's with or interested in is marriage material and vice versa? I think that a man can know that he wants a woman. But if he's young in life, he may not understand the full dynamic of marriage, living with somebody, trying to make a life together. And that's something that you can learn over time through uh, trial and error. But if you want to start off a little better, then, yeah, you need some example around you of other relationships that are at least functional. I mean, none of them are perfect, but if you have example of mom and dad home, or if they're not married, you know, un uncle and his wife, or, or maybe you got an older brother and his wife, seeing two people interacting in a healthy manner, it goes a long way. So I don't think it's necessary to make it happen, but I think it's necessary to avoid turmoil, if that makes sense. Okay. All right. So let's go. And and I, and I agree with you in, in, in some facets because uh, although my mother was married, I never saw her with her with her husband. Um, I don't know what the dynamics of their relationship because I didn't ask before she passed away. But I did. I have seen my aunt and uncle. Uh, they've been married 60 years. Y'all hear me talk about them all the time. So I have seen the dynamics of a marriage lasting and looking at, you know, here lately in our conversations, learning a lot more about their relationship and how they've made it work. But, um, okay. So oh, wait a minute. I want to say it is preferable, but not necessary in all, for all cases. It would be preferred if you could have a positive example to learn from, you know, when I was um, in high school, I mean, not high school, college, you know, um, raising my two young, uh, oldest children, I would say often like, man, I got to get a husband because I want to be able to let them see a man love their mom properly because I know that I'm not a man. Right. And I can't teach a boy how to be a man. So I was really desperate. Like, I got to get married. I got to get married so that I can have a man in the house to teach my boys manhood. And I want them to see how to love a woman properly. So I was really, you know, focused on that. I went about it the wrong ways. And unfortunately, now we're in therapy. But, <laughs> you know, but, but, but my intent um, was good and pure in what I was trying to accomplish. But and so it is important to, that you want to be able to model, you know, a, a good marriage for someone. But it's not required for everyone to execute. Gotcha. All right, guys, we're talking. If you're just joining us, uh, how do you know if your marriage material? Uh, we had the, the panel of people here today give uh, an assortment of answers. Uh, <laughs> some of you may agree with it. Some of you may not. But Root did bring up a question here. I'm gonna, it's going to come on the screen right now. Here's it, here it is. Uh, another question Lisa Marie has asked, do you know the purpose of marriage? That is a great question. Do we know the purpose of marriage? Is there a definition or a defined purpose of marriage? And if so, what is it and how many people that engage in relationships that desire to be married? Because everybody does not desire to be married. How many people engage in a relationship that desire to be married actually understand the purpose of marriage? That's a great question, I think, to ask. And, and I think it's objective. Okay, well, let's go to sophisticatory. Sophisticatory, you think it's subjective. I yes. Elaborate. The purpose is going to be based on what you've been taught, how you've been socialized. For a soul, for someone like me who was raised in a very strict denomination of Christianity, you know, my understanding of what the purpose for marriage is and the function and how it works and what it's for is going to be very different from someone who says, hey, I don't use 
the Bible and its principles to guide my life. So the purpose of marriage for them may end up being different. So it's going okay. to be subjective depending on what your value system is. Yes, thanks. All right. Uh, uh, Costas. <laughs> now that was just out of pocket. Uh, Need you to really back in. At least make it something close. Um, okay, cap anywho. Capillary. Capillary. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm glad y'all think that's cute. Um, anywho. <laughs> <laughs> I agree <laughs> with the fist of twerk that it's going to be based on your morals and what standards either you were raised to uh, have or you've grown to have or whatever have you. It's, the purpose is going to be that. You know what I mean? It just kind of depends on the person. I personally, I personally think the purpose is whatever the couple wants it to be. Sometimes people get married for a business. Okay. Good. Now, Kat, do you desire to be married? Do I desire to be married? Sometimes I do. I don't know. I've done it. <laughs> I mean, I've done it. I've okay. Done it do you desire to be married in this day and age? Like, Right now, moving forward. Yeah, I could. Yeah, I could go for a marriage. It's cool. It's fine. I mean, I could, I can do it. She sounds like she's going for a chicken biscuit. I mean, I can go for a marriage. Yeah, yeah I, I'm a little hungry. You know, I'm a little lunchy. I could go for a marriage. I, I mean, mean <laughs> right? I mean, so, I mean, so, I could. So, it, it, right now, what would be your purpose for marriage? Being that that's a desire you currently have. <laughs> <laughs> would she say yeah? Well, where you go? Come on back. Okay. Your mic. Come back to your mic. Hello. Hello. Okay. 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 There we go. <laughs> <laughs> um. So my purpose would be to have a partnership with somebody. Why are you looking at her? Because she's right. looking at me. It's just taken. Because she's looking. I don't want to be with her. <laughs> I just want her to stop giving me the side eye because, like, I'm don't not pay doing attention her. to her. Hey, it's just me and you having this conversation. Look Thank at me. you. I worked on my facial expression. Look at me. She has known me for almost twenty years. She knows how I am. Mm -hmm. She chose you to be here, and I did, and I did, and I'm. I'm rethinking that, but that's fine. Your, your location here, right? picker is wrong. You should have picked another yeah, location. Yeah, I got <laughs> right that part. That part. Oh, but goodness. anywho, my purpose for marriage would be to have a partnership and a bond with somebody. Like that would be my purpose. Also, a two-income household is great. So you know, all of that, all of those things are great to me. Okay, Carla Winston said everyone is wrong. Marriage mm -hmm. is so much more. So well, much can more I say something real quick? Marriage let me say something. Hold on, hold on. Oh, not, not right. Here. So let me say this. Hold on. This one of these people back here. Hold on. Not everybody at one time. This one of these people back here. So don't even worry about that. Hey, everybody's opinion is valid here on off the fence. Okay. Yeah, but Car but Carla's so one of the assholes wrong. that was Carla's one of the assholes that was in the background noise. It is. Carla is right there. Hey, Carla. <laughs> hey, Ryan. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Chilling in the cut. That is funny. Okay, uh, so let's say who who, who haven't I come come to for that question? Mika. Me. All right, Mika. So, wait, was the question? Do you desire a, a marriage? No, what's the purpose? What's the purpose? Oh, oh, no, I didn't know the purpose. I don't know the purpose of marriage, but I wanted to answer the desire question. Oh, I want to be I want to be honest. So the so marriage wait, wait, Mika. Mika, do you have a desire to be married? No, see, that's what I was about to get to. Okay. I don't have a desire or a yearning to be married. I do have a desire to spend my rest of the, the rest of my life with someone. I have a desire for the the wedding though. Like I guess I saw my wedding since I was a little girl. So I'm, I'm really big into the wedding, but I do want to spend my life um, with someone for the rest of my life. Um, the marriage is not what I desire. The person, the man is what I desire. And I'm, I'm surely desiring my wedding. Like I really want a wedding. Girl, I already got my wig picked out for your wedding. So I need to <laughs> you told me not the wig. Girl, I got my wig. Picked. I okay. picked my outfit already. So I want the man, I want the wedding, and the marriage comes with it. 
Okay. The man, the wedding, and the moment. All right, guys. So so we're talking about how, how do you know if your marriage material uh when we come back from break before we go into our next segment. Wait a minute, we didn't hear Nate. We did we need to hear that y'all's men's perspectives of what's the purpose One of y'all chimed in on that. Need to tell right. us. I didn't either. This. Hold on. Who show is this? Is it my show Ooh. or y'all show? We gonna talk to Nate when we come back from break. We gotta take a break <laughs> right now. Oh, so uh, we'll be right back. It's more off the fence. I'm Finch. I feel like a sarcasm. All right. So we're back off the fence. I'm Finch. How do you know if you are marriage material is our fireside chat right now? Nate, let's hear from you on the question that we were talking about prior to. Nate, do you desire to be married? With the right person, yes. Nate, that, see, Nate, you don't ever answer the question. He did. I said, that was yeah. an answer. That was a valid answer. It was. Good answer, Nate. I'm asking, do you desire to be married? <laughs> Your pick on the, choosing the right person is up to you. Do I desire? Do I desire it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, study long, study wrong. You don't want it. <laughs> Y'all what, I desire, answer. what I desire is the the companionship. The okay. connection, you know, the the positive back and forth, you know, the the healthy, you know, you got me, I got you. And to me, if that's strong enough and it's rich enough, then marriage is just a natural progression out of that. I mean, it's not like, okay, I want to be married. No, it's I want to find somebody who I'm happy with. Okay. And and if you're happy, then you know if 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 they're that one, and you know you don't want anybody else, then hey, go on and make it official. All right. So you said if they're that one, do you believe that's just one person in the world for you, or is that many persons that could be with you, Nate? There are many persons or people or however you want to say it, but the person you pick, it's what you make it. Okay. It's what you make because uh how you deal with somebody, how you edify them, how you treat them. Yes, edify. I mean, <laughs> that that's it is what you make it. I mean, people like to talk about, you know, you're my soulmate. I'm like, that's a romantic notion, but the truth of the matter is, if you want that person and you want to be happy, then then you'll do what it takes to make them happy. So. It is what it is. All right. So a study show, ladies and gentlemen, that there are several things that you should look for in determining if someone is marriage material. And one thing they say is they are emotionally available. Do y'all agree with that? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, second, they have a decent sense of humor. Yes. yes. Yeah. For me. Think, okay. For my yeah, you're right. My sense. Of, my some sense people don't. It depends on the part because everybody don't have a great sense of humor. Some people not the one. No, I'm so saying if they don't humor. and they want somebody who doesn't have one, then right. that's on them. Everybody right. does not want that. your sense of humor. It's not going to be like a one size fit all. They're humorous. Yeah, it's just, just got to be a match. Of humor match. Sometimes I laugh at inappropriate stuff all the time, and if you're going to be like. <gasps> I can't believe you laughing at me. Right. You sir, might as well so leave there. right now, sir. Right. right. <laughs> okay. I'm All right. Cool. Cool. All right. Next, it says you want a person, if you want to know if they're marriage material, someone they uh, can handle conflict reasonably. Meaning, mm, yes. you, you have to pay attention to how they fight with you and other people. Yes. Yep. Definitely. Another, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So y'all agree with that? Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. One hundred. Well, I've been in that conversation this past week. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Is oh, that what you? Is that what you? Is that with the plumber? I was going to say the gutter boo. Okay. Was he a plumber? Not plumber. It was oh, the gutter. 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 That yeah. was the he gutter offered to, He had offered to clean my gutters. Uh, yeah, I'm, sure he, I'm sure he did. <laughs> I'm sure he did. <laughs> I'm sure he <laughs> literally hell out those gutters. Yeah, right. Today. Literally. <laughs> There's no more leaves in those gutters. <laughs> Listen, I lost seven pounds this week, y'all. Oh, because the gutter. Look at God. <laughs> Look, Look at God. God. Won't, it, won't she do it? 
<laughs> okay, here's the next one, guys. <laughs> They're self-sufficient. A good relationship, they say, requires mutuality and the ability to go back and forth in giving and seeking support. Y'all agree with that? Yes. Self-sufficient. Okay. Uh, they make you want to be better. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What do y'all think about that? Yeah, I agree. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y'all yeah, 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 didn't say none of this stuff when y'all was talking about what was marriage material now. Because okay. you're saying they make you want to be, you asked us if we were, but those are, if you were to say what is marriage material to you, we all would have gave you what we're looking for. This right, is you didn't marriage. ask us what is marriage material. You said you no, we are marriage, marriage material. We are. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. And that's why so, I said I need criteria before I can tell you, before I can answer. Now you're giving criteria. Y'all ain't gonna gang up on this. No. Hey, 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 Root, I got it. I got it. I can hold it. I got it. I got it. You know, Root always I, got my back. I can always count on her. She ain't gonna let nobody gang up on me, including you, Katarina. Okay. I'm gonna mm, talk to you later okay. about that, though. Okay. All right, uh, Brian, what's up, man? Let's dig into the roots to see if answers are the same. What's the roots you talking about, Brian? I want to know. It's mama. Well, hold on. Oh, so Wait Brian's minute. in the room, but he also, he also said, Brian also said, so Brian's my son. That is his son. And he's in the room. Say, I was, it wasn't I a your mama joke. It wasn't a your mama joke. Oh, oh, my, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I was the same way. Oh, no, no. Not his mama like that. No, his real mama, Ruth. <laughs> But he also said, where did marriage begin and why was it created? Like he, So he's sitting here in a room with us. Oh, Brian swole his hair. What kind of ways he been living? Uh, <laughs> he said all of them. He said all of them. All of them. Okay. But, so you want to elaborate on what you meant? Brian, come talk to us. <laughs> Jump on in, bro. Jump on in. My question is, why was marriage created in the first place? Where did it begin? Why did it begin? And why do we still promote Uphold it? it? Uphold ah, it. Ah, that's a great question, Brian. He is only 25. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Root, Root bears some great kids. Indeed. Indeed. He look just like you, a bunch of light skinned kids running around the house. <laughs> we are dark skinned. <laughs> Y'all are not. <laughs> said even, not even cat light skin. I'm looking for the dark skin. I'm <laughs> looking for the dark like, skin. I ain't like, why? What? What they got to do with me? <laughs> oh, so that's a great question. Looking at it is a great question. where marriage was created and how we go about it. Do we still look at it the same way as when it was created? And I think that comes back to the purpose of, of what is the purpose of marriage versus how people see marriage that get married. You know, I think that's right. that's the thing. Um, and, and that's one of those things you got to really delve into, because I don't think enough people talk about that prior to mm -hmm. to to get married. Like mm -hmm. like. Is those things that we discuss because we have parents like Root, you know, that now did you, did you instill that in your child or he learned that somewhere else? We can't hear you. We can't hear you. Because here's the thing as a parent, I know what I try to teach him. So come here. I know what I try to instill in him, but I can't necessarily say what he's learned from me and what he's learned from someone else. I just know that I'm just me. Did you learn? He said, is that something that I instilled in you? Or did you learn that someplace else? Someone else. <laughs> 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 but, but it's the, uh, the open-mindedness. It, yeah, it's the open-mindedness that I did learn from her. And then the, the want to learn more about the things that we do and why we do them. Such as marriage. Marriage wasn't created to just be like, hey, I like you a lot. Let's, let's get married. Right. Marriage was a uh, like a economic thing. Like, hey, you your family has something that our family wants and needs. Let's get married. Your, our our children are going to get married because we want an alliance. It was like a econ you were like uh, economic liaisons or something. Right. You were like, hey, like our countries right. want to share land. Like our countries want an alliance. 
we're going to marry our children to create that bond. So it wasn't just, hey, I like you and you like me. It was a partnership. We both have something to offer each other. We both have something to come into this for. So let's get married. Let's let's do this. So now our families are combined. Our power is combined. Not just, hey, I got a full time job and you ain't working. So let, let's just uh, let's go ahead and just do this. <laughs> 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 I love it. Me, that's what marriage is. But that's all I got to say. Okay, this okay, this the kind of kids I raise. Okay, I just want to put that out there. All right, go okay. ahead and pat yourself on the back, girl. Pat yourself on the back. You okay, did that. Too. You did that. Okay, so so let me say this. So so Brian, <laughs> y'all get Brian. Brian, go in another room and, and come on the show. Yeah. Just come on. Yeah, go go in another room. Come on. I, Send I him the link. See. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's just, let me, he's uh, just gonna do that. He's just gonna come in. He's just gonna stand here. I don't want all three <laughs> y'all in the same shot. I don't want that either. Okay. I want Brian in his own shot. He wants to be on shot. Oh, he did his own shot. Oh, so, what about me? You want what me to send? You want me to send him the link? Like, what yes. about me? <laughs> yeah. who, who was saying what about me? That Carla. Yeah. Right, Carla can come on too. Send them both the link. They just got to go in se two separate rooms, though. You got to go in another room. Go in moves. Go in a bar or go in moves office. I don't have the. I don't have the phone. No. Where's the phone? What's the video? I have the phone, but it won't come on. No, I'm sending you the link. Okay, I'm doing it right now. Since. Okay. Yes, Lisa Marie, I agree. Yes. I say that that business, uh, that marriage is a business uh, mm -hmm. partnership as much as it is a romantic one. Mm -hmm. Listen, if we can't get the business right, it doesn't matter how much I love you, honey. Right. Mm -mm. So, so in in today's term, what would you guys say is the business that surrounds marriage? determining if you like Mika said she wants a two household income and that's beautiful and good however I'm gonna go out there and put it out there I actually don't desire a two uh, household income I would like to be taken care of oh I would like I know oh. let me duck from the egg right but no seriously I would like to marry well I have a degree and I have the capacity to contribute should times get rough if my man needs me to go back out into the teaching field but I would love to marry someone and he say hey babe you don't have to work anymore you can help me run the family businesses and or just concentrate on your philanthropy or whatever it is that brings you joy as long as you take care of the house cool uh, does love really play a, a crucial role in a marriage Yes, because I have to love him as well. Mm. And let and, let and while we're and while we're there circling the drain, he also got to look like something. I can't marry you if I can't look at you. That sounds very shallow. Okay, uh, Nate. <laughs> yes. Ch chime in on this. So, so here's another thing that they say. Uh, we we talked about they they make you want to be better, but also they say they treat others well. You have to pay attention to how your partner treats wait staff in a restaurant or any other service position. You agree with that, Nate? I do. So, so Nate, what what type of woman that you are looking for uh, when it comes to your desire to be married? Do you do you looking at some of the things like we, we talked about? Some of the women talking about two parent two house two parent households two incomes. Uh, Sophistic Twerk just said she she want a man she wants to marry a man well good luck with that I mean I think the criteria for that now now when you say well never mind let me come back to you let me let me talk to Nate right quick so Nate when you're thinking about the type of woman you might want to marry and I don't know how far down the line you might be looking at that if that's something that you're looking at in the near future or that's something that you're looking at down the line how, how what type of woman are you looking for? And I, when I say type, I mean, like, we're talking about a partnership. We're talking about some people are talking about a business arrangement. What are some of the things that she needs to have or house in order for you to, to marry her? Me personally, <clears throat> I'm a little more on the traditional side. So she would have to be a team player. Ah, Okay, team player. Because I already have my own vision and ways and means that I'm moving forward in. And in terms of where I'm going, if she, 
All right. Say I'm running a business. All right. Okay. okay. And she's an accountant. Okay. All right. Okay. She can run, she can handle my books for me. Okay. Or if she has a corporate law degree, you know, she could handle that aspect of it. Or if she has an IT degree, you know, look out for my computers and stuff. Okay. Ba basically, it's a give and take flow and ebb of two people working towards a common goal that they both agree on. Okay. All right, cool. All right. So let me see here. Who was that in the Mika? Let me come to you for a second. <laughs> did you just pop up? Like, right. Oh, he did. He was right. like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So 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 Nate talked about seeing how somebody. somebody I'm sorry. Up. Um, can you mute the line if you're not speaking? Uh oh. 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 <laughs> like I'm at work. It's, it's I, I I do hear it. I don't know who that's coming from. It's uh, root. It's root. Okay. Cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> look at you, Teddy Riley. <laughs> I'm a snitch. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I hear dry snitching. Okay. Uh, so, so looking at marriage, not not in the traditional sense, because I think so many people look at marriage from what somebody else' marriage looked like. But looking at where, and you said you do not desire to be married per se. Is that true? That's what you said earlier. No. I don't desire to be married, but I want to be married. Yeah, it's not a desire. That's like a more deep okay. feeling for me. I do want to be married. Like I said, I desire the wedding. I desire the man that I want to be with for the rest of my life. But the the marriage portion, you know, the the paperwork and all that, I mean, I don't desire that, but I, I do want to be married. So what would what would that marriage well what would your marriage look like? Would, it would look the same. I would I would still have a marriage. I would have a beautiful wedding. I would have my love of my life for the rest of my life. It would look the same for what we want. I'm just saying I don't desire to be married. Okay. Uh, okay. You want to be married, but you don't desire it. Right. Desire okay. is like a deep feeling for me. I don't have that burning lust to be married. I do have a burning feeling to find someone I could spend the rest of my life with. And I have that burning feeling to get in the dress that I choose. And I, I, that wedding, I can see it. Like, I desire the wedding. I desire the man. I don't desire the marriage, but I do want to be married. Okay. So would you do like the Grey's Anatomy post-it note marriage? Oh, I like that. And then they took the marriage license and framed it, right? And just put it, didn't they turn it in and put it on the wall, right? That would be fine. But I know... Like you said, it is a business, so we do need to turn turn that in. I don't want to spend the rest of my life with you, and I don't have access to what's you know entitled to me if something should happen to you. Same thing, vice versa. So yeah, I, I would do the you know the right marriage so we can you know have that partnership physically, emotionally, and financially. But the desire, his question about that whole desire to be married, that's not my not, not me. Nope. Mm -mm. Okay. All right, so we have uh, Nate. <laughs> Nate. I want to I want to ask Mika a question about a statement. Okay, Nate, yes. come on in. Ask that question. It sounds to me like your definition or idea of marriage does not conform to the traditional idea of marriage. Is that correct? That's correct. So basically, you want the companionship, but not the traditional structure of a marriage. Is that what you're saying? No, I do want that. I don't. I I can still have the traditional and structure without desiring to be married. I guess it's that word. I, I want to be married, but yeah, the desire part kind of took me. I don't have to. I don't desire to be married. I do want to be married. I do want the structure. I do want traditional as far as for me. Uh, my traditional, um, not me. I have to do all the cooking. You have to get all the oil changes. Not that type of tradition. Our tradition, what we set for ourselves. Gotcha. gotcha. If I so, want to take the trash out, I'm going to take it out. If you want to wash the dishes, you can wash the dishes. Okay. That, I, I hear that part. And, and it sounds like you're saying, and I think that's where people was kind of confused with your statement. Um, so you, I, I hear you saying, I want to make sure I'm clear. I hear you saying, you want to be married, but you don't have a deep down burning desire. Like if it didn't happen tomorrow, next week, two years yeah. from now, that you would lose your mind and, and, and go out. Because I've clearly, 
Exactly, because I clearly would have lost my mind already. I'm 41. If that desire was there and I would have lost my mind, if I wasn't married, I'd be insane in here. I don't have a desire to be married. I have a desire to have companionship. I have a desire to spend the rest of my life with someone. I do have a desire for my wedding, but it's not, a. I don't wake up every day like, oh, I got to find that because I desire this way. I need to be married in the next, you know, I'm 41. I need to be married before I'm 42. Like, I don't have that. And when I do desire something, I do put that timeline on something. If I say I need to be in this role or this position at my job and I desire to have it, I set forth things. I haven't set forth anything to make sure that I'm married by a certain time or a certain age. If I'm, if I am, I am. And I'll be happy with that. If not, I'll be happy with that too. Okay. All right, cool. All right, guys, listen, we're talking about, uh, well, we started this conversation talking about (laughs) how do you know if you are marriage material? One of the things I love about this show is the conversation can go in a whole different direction. And although we have a docket of things we want to discuss, sometimes we might not get to the, all the things on the docket because the conversation takes a twist and turns. And you guys know off the fence is we challenge, we question, and we dissect. So that's one of the things we love about this conversation. And this whole marriage conversation has gone on uh, longer than I anticipated. But I don't want to stop it because I think we have a lot of great dialogue. And I'm going to bring in Brian because somebody just brought up something I want to put back on the screen. If we can put that back on the screen uh, right now. Monica says, you know what happened to DMX boo with no marriage license? And the same thing happened to Lauren London. The same thing happened to a host of people uh, when it comes to that. And I think sometimes when we're talking about, oh, marriage is a piece of paper. I think in some aspects, especially from the government standpoint, it it seems to be more than that uh cory brown just said don cheeto and his longtime partner recently got married for a similar reason financial uh purposes based on guidance from his accountant did y'all hear about that story yes yes okay marriage is a business like that's what i said like we are in a capitalistic society and there are uh benefits given to people when they are married and I for one would like to uh experience some of those. those benefits. Okay. You know, so- with the whole married filing jointly and all of that. Like listen, the war are well our country is set up to favor those who are married. Okay. If they know how to play the tax game right. Let I want to be let, a part. Let me bring in Brian. All right, Brian, can you turn your camera the other way? This way. Oh yeah, yeah. Well Oh, he's trying to be cute. <laughs> Y'all, my son is a complete asshole. <laughs> All right. That's not what we're here for. <laughs> That's not what we're here for. <laughs> and he's talking in the other room. He like. <laughs> uh, can you turn your camera the long way so you, you're you in the full screen? Oh, that way. There you go. There you go. <laughs> wow. Indeed. Yeah. Carly, you do the same thing. There you go. All right, Brian. So, so. You heard what what Monica and what Corey was talking about as it relates to um, DMX and Don Cheeto, and I, I brought in Nipsey Hussle and, and Lauren London. Uh, so, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on that? Is, is marriage something that we people should do uh, through the system, or however they see fit when it comes to some of those benefits, like Sylvester Stork talked about? When it comes to those benefits, that's exactly what I was saying earlier. When I was talking on my mom's on my mom's feed, that kind of stuff that goes into the tradition. And when we talk about tradition of marriage and the beginning of marriage and how it began, it's for that reason right there. It's financial. It's for for profit. Marriage is not just an I love you. You love me situation. And we're just going to do this together. It's a we have something to benefit from as in as as our families come together financially, economically. So now we're okay. I we understand each other on this type of level. So we're going to get married to combine our assets. It's not just the oh I, I love you and I want to be with you for the rest of my life. Like sure that plays into it in these these days, uh, as in now with these the as we move on with generations. Uh, but that the, those kind of things, the financial. I'm in the military, and me being in the military, I can't get. Uh, like the girl I'm dating, I don't. She doesn't have any benefits. She doesn't have anything unless I'm married to her. Uh, if I'm married to her, then she gets health care, dental care. She can go on post. She can co- shop at discounted commissary, and that's what marriage 
is for, and that's that. Or those are the. It's for the benefits. Now, I don't don't get me wrong. I agree with everything else. The emotions, the love. Like you should love your partner. <laughs> a lot of cultures and religions that don't agree with that. They they're going to set you up on arranged marriages and all that for the benefit of the family. But us being in America, home of the free, home of the brave. Well, it's you have those other things that come with it. I have a question. Okay. Hey, can I can can I get a trip to the PX? <laughs> I do have a, a question or a statement. So I have never been married and I know with military it's completely different because you do reap a lot of benefits when you get married, but most jobs like mine and a lot of people, when you get married, that benefit is not there. So can't you just be a responsible person and set yourself up to will things and give your assets and things to whoever you feel like, let's say you never marry that person. Um, and for example, my, my parents were married and when my father passed, they still didn't give the wife anything because, which is my mom, because it's a will. It was like, you need, you still need this type of will or something. So can't you just will who you want something or just do the necessary paper? You can do that paperwork without not saying don't get married, but if you don't want to get married, you can still take steps to ensure that you're taken care of after someone leaves. Oprah refuses to marry Stedman. But I'm sure she knows where her money is going to go without being married. You can still take the steps to, you know, make sure that who you love is taken care of once you're gone without marrying them. I think it's the contestability factor. You know, people can always try to step in and, and contest a will. Be like, oh, this one ain't authentic. I got one right here. So, yes, you can do that. But to me, it's like... Put my name as the beneficiary on the life insurance policy. That's what I was just about to say. Just, and you don't need to be married to do that. No. You don't need and to same be married thing with to financial, do that. Same thing with financial institutions. Hold on. Who's talking? Who's talking? Hold on. This is one person. Yeah. Yeah. Same one thing. Person the time. Okay. My bad. Same thing with financial institutions, though, like with banks and things like that. As long as that person is noted as the beneficiary, that's who the money goes to. It doesn't matter if they're married or not, or who try to bring what in there. You can't contest that. Exactly. So as long as they are listed as the beneficiary, just make sure that all your I's and T's dotted and crossed with these financial institutions and these insurance policies is basically what I'm saying. So, so technically you don't have to be married for that work. So that was my point. Yeah. Yeah. So but let, let me put some Hold on. Sorry, Hold on. Let Diana, me stop. But the, uh, huh? We can't you, hear you. That, uh, Root, you having the uh, T-Pain issues this week. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So stop putting people, like, if it's your bank account, don't put people as your beneficiary. Add them onto the account. Period. Because the reality is, is that when you add them as a beneficiary, that means that they would inherit, they will inherit your money but they would have to pay taxes on what they inherit. If you are added on to the account, you own the account, which means that that money has already been taxed. If you're on there as a beneficiary, that means you have to pay taxes on what you, what you have inherited. So we have to start moving differently on how we maneuver within our relationships, whether it is our immediate family members or, and I'm sure Nate, the slash who we thought was an undertaker <laughs> and an insurance agent, but you know, Nate, the insurance, <laughs> we have to start moving differently. <laughs> Don't put those people on as your be beneficiary. Add them on as an added account holder. Unless they don't have it's to have access to or an annuity. Say that What'd again, you say? Nate? Unless it's life insurance or an annuity, because exactly. Gifts right. from those types of vehicles do not go through probate, but anything right. else is subject to going through the state. Right. Okay. All right. Let's hear from Carly. You got you got to turn yours the other way too, Carly. <laughs> is she froze, froze like that? Are you frozen, Carly? <laughs> like that. <laughs> you like. Okay. We we gotta come back to Carly. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with Carly. Well, in the cut. <laughs> yeah. All right, so, so listen, let, let me, uh, let me, <laughs> y'all, oh, man, listen, 
No, oh, this is the funniest show ever. <laughs> what I said, I'm going to laugh. Look, me and Root, me and Root, God, listen. It's hey. funny. I'm hey. laughing. <laughs> Brian, look, look at, listen, y'all. I want y'all to look at, I want y'all to see Carly again. Carly, Carly done came in twice. Carly. Since you wrong. Wait, she's still wrong. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, hold on. Wait a minute. I got to show y'all the other one. And now she got a new pose. Yeah, hold on. I don't know what happened. It's too many of y'all on that uh, cricket Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> why, why won't the camera or reorient? Only two people allowed on the cricket Wi-Fi. I got four people hold in the on. house. Oh my it goodness. It won't turn. It won't turn. <laughs> Stop trying Bless to turn it. her. Bless it. Oh Lord. Hilarious. <laughs> All right, guys, we, 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 we got to take another break. When we come back, uh, we're going to go into tears. our... We're gonna go into <laughs> our uh, <laughs> when we come back, we're going to go into our Ask Finch uh, letters. I got a couple of... Oh, my right. goodness. These are... <sighs> I hope y'all are ready. It's going I'm down. ready. <laughs> it's off the fence. I'm Finch. We'll be right back. Spread the word by leaving a rating and review on iTunes. Thanks for joining us, where it always feels good.